Disclaimer. These videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in the video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Dover, located in Stewart County, Tennessee, on February 3rd, 1863. Upon completion of the Battle of Stones River, Confederate General Braxton Bragg ordered Confederate Major General Joseph Wheeler to begin raiding along the Cumberland River. The goal was to disrupt the Union shipping any way they could. On January 26, 1863, Bragg followed up these orders by sending Confederate Brigadier General Nathan Bedford Forrest to join the raid with Wheeler. They both had been friends for quite a long time. This would allow Wheeler to position at least two brigades worth of cavalry overlooking the river. Sadly, this wasn't effective as the Union learned of the Confederate plans and denied the Confederates access by shutting down all shipping in the area. In response, Wheeler decided to attack the Union forces at Dover, near Fort Donelson. Forrest himself objected to this attack. The post at Dover was fortified and their job wasn't to assault a position. Nevertheless, Wheeler pushed forward and decided to attack the post with dismounted cavalry. Once again, Forrest disagreed with this idea of assaulting a position on foot and refused to follow in that manner. Instead, Forrest led his own men on a mounted attack. He learned too late that the 800-man Union garrison under the command of U.S. Colonel Abner C. Harding could stop such a mounted attack easily. The jumping the gun by Forrest thwarted Wheeler's planned attack before it even started. Wheeler tried again but found he wasn't able to pursue the Union forces, both because of the losses Forrest suffered but also because of loss of surprise and ammunition. This failure and disagreement between the two commanders of the Confederate side resulted in the split of what had been two friends. It is quoted at Forrest announced, I will be in my coffin before I will fight under your command again. The only response Wheeler gave was, as the commanding officer, I take all blame and responsibility for this failure. The estimated losses were 110 Union soldiers, while the Confederates themselves suffered about 855 men killed, wounded, captured or missing. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.